hi all and welcome back. Something a little bit different today. Although I am on the outskirts of the village of Great Haywood, I'm not actually going to walk into the village today. I'm going to take a walk to Shrugborough Hall. So here we go, I'm moored up just here and we're going to walk on down the canal and walk across to the hall. This looks like it's a tea room or cafe over here. It wasn't open when I was here and I can't see a name of it anywhere on the map. It must be quite nice sat there outside in the summer months watching the boats come up through the lock sipping on a nice cup of tea, coffee or eating an ice cream. Right, it's time to continue our walk down past the lock, under the bridge and hang a right towards the hall. If you come by car and you come into Great Haywood, this would probably be the way you would come in by walking across this bridge to the hall. Well, here's a little history about this bridge. This is called Essex Bridge and it dates back to the late 15th century. Where it was uh, now the longest existing old pack horse bridge left in the country. It today consists of 14 spans going across the river, Trent here, but originally it's said to have had 40 spans across here. Whether the Trent was much wider then, or it went across marshland, I'm not quite sure. I must admit, I did not dig that deeply to find out that much about it. It's much better off, I think, leaving a little bit of intrigue there for one's own imagination. I'm now walking down onto the bank of the river so we can have a look back at this magnificent bridge. Ahead of us here is the confluence of the River Sal and the River Trent. Just to think that this magnificent bridge was built over 500 years ago and most of it is still original. Yes, there are repairs being done to it. There are repairs being done today when I was here. But at least they're repairing it with proper stone and lime mortar. This footpath, you can walk around a lot of the estate on. Well, I'm going to only walk along a little short part of it here to take a good look at the house. There is rain in the forecast and I once moved the boat this afternoon before I outstay the 48 hour morn I'm on. So this is going to be a very short visit. Hence, I'm not actually going to go into the house, I'm only going to look at it from a distance. If I remember correctly, when I passed the sign on the way in, the hall was opened originally in 1693. So it's just a little short video this week. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed walking here. That just leaves me to say thank you very much to all my Patreon and PayPal supporters, everyone for watching and everybody for subscribing. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe and don't forget to hit that old bell notification button. Well, I'm walking back now to the boat, back across this beautiful bridge. I really do like this bridge. Well, that just leaves me to say thank you very much for watching. Trevor out. I'm back on the boat now as you can see and continuing my journey.